If you have a LastPass account, be sure to reset all of your passwords for all of your websites or anything that you've stored in LastPass. LastPass was hacked recently, and the reason why we haven't made a video on this until now is because we didn't really get the information from LastPass on exactly what was stolen from their entire vault. They were able to steal the backups, so your vault information is still secure with your master password, but if your master password is under 12 characters, your entire vault may be at risk. Even if you have a 12 character password at the current time, I would still recommend changing all of your passwords to all of your other sites that are external from LastPass, including your master password itself. The reason why is that the vaults were stolen through a backup. Your vault is only now protected by your master password, not 2FA, and therefore, it could be brute forced attacked since they have the backup copies of your vault. I would still recommend changing all of your passwords, changing all of your site passwords, enabling 2FA on all of your websites. If you have, if you already have it on for all your other sites, you should always leave it on. If you're using 2FA and you're using a Google Authenticator app or the LastPass Authenticator, you would want to change and update your 2FA and change out your key. If you have it going through SMS or through telephone, just make sure that it is on a correct telephone number. And as well as if you don't have 2FA on any of your websites, you may wanna think about turning those on as that will also give you a second factor of authentication and protect you against anybody that may or may not have your password at the current time. Now we come down to a, a really tough topic here of do you still trust LastPass after a few of the hacks that they've had problems in in the recent past? Personally speaking, I don't use LastPass. I use Bitwarden. I think it's a little bit better product. It also has had a better reputation at the current time and therefore that's why I use Bitwarden. I think it's a much more secure product. It's also very open source so you can see what and how the programming is written and how it's protecting your data. This is entirely up to you if you want to still use LastPass. Bitwarden is about the same price. In fact, I think it's cheaper for certain aspects if you're using a personal account and it offers a few more options in the ways of security and protecting your vault. If you have security questions stored in your LastPass secure notes, you should update them to something else. Even if they are false information, it's better off to put false information in for your security questions anyway to better protect your account. If you would like to switch over to Bitwarden, I do have all the links in the description and some notes and documentation on how to do a migration from LastPass over to Bitwarden relatively easily. I hope that if you are using the product and you still continue to use the product that you back up your vault as well as still turn on 2FA for your LastPass but uh, in this case, since they got hacked all the way into their server, your 2FA wouldn't really help you. So be sure that you update your password at least to at least 12 characters, letters, numbers, and symbols with capital letters and lowercase letters. Do like the video, do comment below. If you have any questions about LastPass, feel free to comment below and we do actually read them and we will respond to them. Thank you.